Silvana here at Express Prints and welcome back to my mammoth workshop on design your dream pillow with Midjourney AI and sell it on Printful. We will cover everything from creating that perfect design for our pillow all the way to adding it to Printful, creating a product and then also adding the plugin to our WordPress website and creating a product on our, on our website. Guys, so this workshop is absolutely free of charge, but of course, if you like what I'm creating, please like and subscribe so that it really helps me grow and helps me create content like this just for you. Also, guys, please watch it to the end because I have a massive clip art giveaway at the end of this video. So please stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get started. So here we are on my Mid Journey website or my Mid Journey gallery, as I like to call it. And as you know from my previous tutorials, I am a big fan of Mid Journey. In summer, it will be two years since I started creating with Mid Journey, and it's just amazing the the evolve how how it evolved over the years and. Um, the only problem is that, you know, like every time a new version comes out, it's a little bit different from the previous version. So there's a lot of learning steps to take and you really need to, you know, really give that time to learn about each, um, about each version. I think the, the biggest learning curve for me was in version four. Then we went to version five. That was a lot of new learning again. Um, but with Mid Journey version six, again, a lot of learning. But, um, you know, the prompts are not dissimilar to what we were using in Mid Journey V4. So I play a lot with actually reusing Mid Journey V4 prompts in Mid Journey V6. But this is a different tutorial. We're going to be focusing on picking one artwork for our pro pillow or decorative pillow you know they're, they're called different uh, names in UK and US so we call it fro pillows or decorative pillows and I want to pick a beautiful beautiful um, artwork which is probably a sort of like a I, I want to go with a clip art so this is something I've created recently so a watercolor flower with butterfly and on white background style raw and stylized Three hundred, so that was my prompt, and let's see which one I want. So I really, really like these colors, and it sort of like has got that three D dimensions in it. Uh, so I am going to go with uh, this one. I'm going to download it, guys. So this isn't uh, upscaled yet. I mean, as we can see, Mid Journey can upscale in subtle and creative. But what I'm going to do, I want to a little bit clean it um, in Canva and then um, upscale it in Canva as well. So creating our images with AI generator is just a very, very first step if we are planning to uh, turn our products either into digital downloads for Etsy or physical products. It's just a very small part of a whole creative process. We also need some kind of editor. And I have a page on my website with resources, free resources that you can access. I'm popping the link above here as well and in the description below where you can look at different upscalers and different uh, photo editing tools and apps. I love Canva. I do have a professional account, but for some of these things that we're going to be doing today, if you don't need cleaning, if you don't need, need removing background, a free account is absolutely fine. So what we're going to do now is we go to create a design and I'm going to upload um, import file so this is my downloaded file here that I want to use for my pillow. So just click on it. And now it, it asks you use it in a new design or add to a template. So we're going to go use in a new design and custom size. And now it sort of like gives me the uh, dimensions that it is already in. So I just click on create new design. So what's going to happen now is that we have all this beautiful it's already got a white background guys but what i will like to sort of see like to try and see uh would be how it would look without the background removed uh sometimes it removes too many elements so i don't necessarily like that but let's see what it does now okay so actually this is okay what i may actually want to do i may want to remove this one as well sort of clean it a little bit so i just clicked on magic eraser as you saw and uh, let's see if it needs any more cleaning than that because obviously we want the image to look really good on the pillow and yeah so let's see what it looks like now 
Okay, I don't think it needs any more cleaning. I mean, I can see some dots in here, but um, let's just have a look whether that's something to do. No, so, oh, just sort of like a little bit clean it. Sort of like, a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my images, but you don't have to, you know, like if you like these elements, then you can of course keep it. And it doesn't need anything else. I'm not going to be adding text to it or, or anything. So guys, at the moment, my image has no background. If we take a look at our original image again, which is this one in Mid Journey, the image already has a white background and it would look really nice on a pillow as well. But with removing background, we can actually use this graphic for a variety of products. So if you want to keep consistent, cohesive look throughout the home, we can also use this for mugs, anything we want. Yeah, so if we are in love with one particular graphic, it doesn't just need to be one product. It can literally be any product because once you sign up with print on demand company like Printful and Gelato, the world is your oyster. You can literally create anything you want. So let's go back to our image. So at the moment, our image is uh, 1,240 by 1,024, sorry. <laughs> and I'm just going to name it uh, Flower Clip Art. And now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be downloading it, ready for our uh, ready for our printful and you know starting creating products so guys everything is okay everything is perfect my image doesn't have a background so what i'm going to do i'm going to share and uh, going to download here and i'm going to do png and guys you have to click transparent background here and i'm also going to be increasing my file maybe by two times i think that should be okay for the pillow but let's see how how many times it sort of lets me um, increase it so if we go a little bit higher obviously then we'll wait a little bit for it to download but um, you know so this is guys I'm not sure but I think this upscaling to this kind of dimensions is only possible with a professional account but check it out I'm not 100% sure if not if you can't upscale it in Canva then upscale it directly with Midjourney or you know use any of the other upscalers that I recommend on my website again that link for free resources is at the um, in the description so I think I'm quite happy with this 2688 pixels well let's see if I can go up to 3000 just in case okay so now the size is 3072 times 3072 that should be perfect for our printful so i'm just going to download and it's going to take a little while um, and then we will have it in our downloads here so um, as you can see it's quite a large file so this is the original one and this is the this is the enlarged one without any background. So as you can see, it has no background and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, guys, <clears throat> if you wanted to do any other editing on a photo, you would do it in Canva as well. So there's so many different options. So you can adjust your image, you know, temperature, lightness. But I think I'm happy with what it's like. But yeah, you can literally do anything. You can sharpen it if you want to. Um, clarify it a little bit more yeah so play around with the options literally you can do so many things with this and guys welcome to printful now you know from my other tutorials that i like basically two print on demand companies the most which is printful and also gelato but printful has a larger product catalog than gelato however gelato does this very very beautiful uh, mugs, coffee mugs, the latte mugs. So I sort of, when I want to order new mugs, then I always order from Gelato. But apart from that, um, Printful is good for other products that Gelato doesn't have. And one of those is Pillow. So guys, if you want to check Printful out, I am popping the link in the description. It is an affiliate link. Of course, it doesn't cost you anything more, but it does help me um, to sort of like in creating stronger partnership with Printful. So I would be really grateful if you use that link. Um, okay, so let's just go over what we have here. So again, guys, I am logged in. But if you want a really like tutorials just for Printful, please let me know in the comment and I will show you everything from how to sign up to, um, 
you, you know, to everything that you need to do, but it's pretty straightforward. They basically, all these companies have very similar platforms, but again, it's another learning curve, guys. It's not going to, um, you know, just, you, you're just not going to know everything magically the next day. So you really need to spend time on it. As I said, creating our image with me journey is just the very, very first and tiny step in getting our images onto products. And I also believe, you know what? I also believe that there is a massive market now for on-demand products and the companies like Printful and Gelato, I think they're going to see a really massive growth now. And we can already see it because sometimes it's just so slow, I can't even create a product. Okay, guys, so the way it's designed, this Printful, is basically you've got your stores here. So what I did, I actually... Uh, um, unlinked my store so that I can show you step by step how I link it to my WordPress website. And I also have um, sort of like a TikTok store, but I never use it and Express Prints, which I also don't currently use as well. So the only one that I'm going to be using is uh, Express Prints website and WooCommerce that I have installed. But again, I will show you how to install that plugin in the next part. So guys, here we have the product catalog. So once I sign up and connect my store to Printful, um, I'm going to be picking. So guys, you know, when you sign up, it sort of like automatically knows um, that you are in the what country you're in. So here I have estimated delivery for the UK five to 10 days. So it's quite good to have a look. Um, you can, of course, also go with products that are that don't have this and will take longer to deliver to customers. Uh, but this is just sort of like really good way to know, um, you know, like how quickly your products will get to customers. Now, as you can see, guys, this is not a cheap way to sell products. But at the same time, you know, for small business owners who are just starting out and, you know, who cannot afford to buy in bulk. Um, and also there's so much wastage when we buy in bulk because we don't know whether something will sell. So in the beginning, it's going to be a quite expensive, but then obviously we will figure out the way to do it going forward. So let's take a look at our uh, pillows. So I'm just going to go to home and living category and I'm going to find home decor and pillows and pillowcases. And I am looking for square pillow, square decorated pillow, because that's my graphic I created a graphic specifically for that. So here we've got all of our print options. Um, I don't really want this because, you know, I haven't got a graphic that is all over. Uh, but let's just see. So if I go again here. Um, okay, so the only option really is the all over. So so that's fine. So we have um, the price starts from 1470 plus um plus, of course, delivery. So that's something to bear in mind. Other things to pay attention to is, again, showing full results uh, that deliver to the UK. And you can also, guys, you can change your global default selling preferences. So if you want to sell to other countries, this is where you would do it. But as I mentioned, I will probably do another big tutorial on Printful step-by-step. -step. Um, so here, let's just focus on a product. So guys, I'm just going to go for um maybe premium pillow so there's a two pound difference but i think you know it's, it will be quite worth it estimated delivery would be nine to 12 days so let's just click on it it's got 229 reviews that we can take a look at yeah so here we have some reviews i bought a cover and filling yeah so have a look at the uh you know, at the um, reviews and also, you know, you can see how the images are coming up. Yeah, so it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, do your homework, you know, see what people, how people are happy with this product, but it should be okay because obviously, you know, it is a premium pillow. So we're going to be picking um, two sizes. So 18 times 18 and 22 times 22, they're both square. So let's just click there. And we are going to be create product template. And I also am going to tick this box, which is 22 times 22. Here you can pick zipper and stitch color. So I'm going to go for white. I want a white because it's a white pillow. Here you've got other information like product info, pricing and guidelines. But I'm just going to go straight to here. And I'm going to upload new file. And I'm going to grab my file, this one, the bigger one. 
and I'm going to wait a little bit until it uploads because obviously it's a bigger file. And very simply, once that's uploaded, we just press apply. Now let's see what that does. Hopefully it's big enough. Okay, so what does this say? Uh, designs for each product sizes. Oh yes. So basically, because we are doing two uh, two separate sizes, we need to adjust it for each one. So let's take a look at this one. If I create it a little bit smaller, you know, um, and <laughs> look, guys, you know, it already shows you what it would look like on a T-shirt. So this is already like suggestions how you can utilize your product. And uh, what does this say? Okay. So guys, now we can have a look. Oh, we can also do it on the back because this is obviously all over print. So I'm just going to pop the same one there. And again, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller like that. Um, so now we can see front and we can see back. Yeah, so obviously they should match the, uh, the, the sizes should match. Let's take a look at the mockups, what they would look like, these pillows. Oh, they would look absolutely fantastic, wouldn't they? So, so lovely. It's just going to, you can also uh, download it, you know, because obviously you will be needing some, um, you know, some mockups, something to show on your website. But uh, the plugin that we are going to be creating uh, and, and installing, that will also um, allow us to, um, but basically all your mockups will be transferred into that. So again, if I go to design, um, so the first one is done. Now I'm going to go to save template. And now we've got product template created. So now we are going to go to uh, here. We are in a premium pillow. These are all my previous things that I've done. And then our premium pillow has appeared in our product templates. So guys, what we're going to be doing, we're just going to check it one more time whether the product is perfect for uh, going live. So I'm just going to click on edit again. And um, one thing that we really need to be sure of is, um, you know, the so basically the, um, the, the graphic has to be perfect for both. 18 plus 18 and 22 times and 22. So let's just have a look at this. What does it say here? Oh, what's happened there? Okay, so I'm just going to, again, do that apply. So now we are creating uh, 22 times 22. Uh, let's see if we do this. So sort of like the margins are, um, everything is within the um, print area. So I think that's quite good. So this is actually much better. And we also do the back. Yeah, so again, make sure that everything is within the print area. So if I just a little bit make it smaller, just to make sure that everything is in a print, sort of like within the print area here. And uh, yeah, play around with it, guys, until it's perfect. And if we now go to mockups, then we can see our images here. Well, I think this pillow is just going to look wonderful. What do you guys think? Really, really lovely. So back to design. Make sure everything is perfect. So the PDI here is 154. So, um, you know, if you want, you can upscale it even more. And basically save product templates. So I'm just going to save it. And now I can actually add it to the store. So the way we add it to the store is like this. Now I'm going to press Express Prints. Oh, what happened? Details for your store. So we have here uh, what we're going to be doing um, and then proceed to mockups. And we're just going to be doing basic mockups. Yeah, so we're going to be choosing, um, you know, our images. So this would be the main image. I actually would prefer a different main image, maybe something very simple. I mean, these are not really, really beautiful mockups, as you can see, but they do the job. Um, I think I would prefer this one. Yeah, continue. And then here you fill in your, um, your uh, details. So for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it as it is because I, this is just for uh, really showing you how it's done. And also you can add info about on-demand um, manufacturing. You do the here you do the tags and then you do uh, 
product sections. These are the sections that I have on my store, so they would appear there. So let's continue. And here you set your prices. So guys, uh, obviously, you know, think about what would be what would make sense for you. So you can increase retail price, set retail price to increase retail price by and do it that way. So I'm just going to change this to uh, maybe, you know, again, it's very difficult um, to know because they are already quite expensive, aren't they? Plus, I don't know whether this actually includes uh, shipping. It's actually more easier to see on gelato website but if we do it like this then we've got these prices here and now we can submit it to store so here's here is what we do we submit it to store adding new product to store so now it's in our store and in the next part i'm going to show you how to um, implement printful on your wordpress website and everything you need to know and guys welcome to the back end of my wordpress website so this is what it looks like if you are creating websites on the wordpress now guys you know um of course i've been working with wordpress for many many years i'm self-taught i've taught myself from youtube i'm no expert um but i can do simple editing and basically everything you see i've done myself um so guys just a few things that i would recommend so my website because i get these questions a lot my website is built on avada theme so you can get the avada from here from envato market i'm popping the link again underneath this uh tutorial underneath this workshop so you can check it out and the reason i like avada is because it has so many uh, different sort of like pre-built options so you can literally choose from anything anything that you want uh, so it's really worth checking it out it's not the lightest theme on the market so you do need a good hosting uh, to host Avada and also I am very careful about the amount of images I've put on it and things like that uh, so guys you need a good hosting with WordPress and I have been through pretty much all the hosts that you can think of. My favorite, and I'm also popping the link underneath this workshop, it's an affiliate link, but my absolute favorite is SiteGround. And if you just go to SiteGround here, SiteGround, and I cannot tell you how good they are, you know, literally the best on the market. I've, even, I've tried so many different ones and I've never, you know seen as good as SiteGround. even one time i you know have gone with other company and after two weeks i've just i've been back at SiteGround. so guys please um you know have a look at them if you are looking for really good hosting they start from 2.99 per month but the prices do go up after your initial trial and then of course they have a dedicated wordpress hosting which is why i love them so much so you just go here and here's everything that you need to know so uh, to start with they will give you fantastic fantastic discounts uh, but of course you know um, next year it will go up so guys this is my recommendation of course you don't have to take it but i've been through most of them and there's nothing better than SiteGround. Okay, so let's close these. Uh, so again, going back to my um, Avada. So this is the backend again. So guys, we are going to be installing, of course, you know, you will have to have WooCommerce installed on your website. So you got your products here, but you need a plugin for Printful. So I haven't got the plugin right now because I've only got a Gelato plugin. So we're going to be installing it together. And I hope it's going to be pretty straightforward because there's quite a lot of, um printful uh there's quite a lot of uh like keys you have to find and things but hopefully so you can see here it hasn't got the best <laughs> best rating but you know let's install so now it's installing for us and of course we will then have to connect it to our printful store uh, at printful itself so i'm just going to press activate a little bit slow because it's WordPress and now we're going to go to Printful here and uh, we obviously have to do these settings uh, so we've got all our 
um, sort of settings here and let's go to settings. So reconnect your store. If you haven't been connected before, you will probably have the connect here. So I'm just going to reconnect. Hopefully it will make it quite easy. Follow link. Yeah. And here, basically this is where the magic happens. So you, you've got people would like to connect your store, read, write access, and then you just press approve. Now, sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes it does. So you already have an account. Um, continue. So if I just continue with Google Express Prints, hopefully it will work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sign up. No, I don't want to sign up. And two hours later, I am hoping we are in because I can see some marks here. But when we go to settings, it still says reconnect for some reason. But hopefully we are now in. This is a tricky part, guys. It's the same with Gelato plugin. Uh, you know, there's a lot to learn. And I think WooCommerce is going through some changes as well. So, but you know what? You can figure it out. Uh, so if I now go back to my Express Print store, I'm just going to refresh this. And if I go to my stores, I should see that it's connected. Okay, so it says active. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to go to view store. And I'm going to add a product. So import not synced product. Okay, never mind. Our product. And our product should be here in my product templates. So I'm just going to click on that. And here are all my products that I've done before. Oh my goodness, I, I forgot how lovely these were. But this is the pillow that we've created today. So I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to proceed to mock-up. So guys, again, all our details are here. So we are doing 18 um, times 18 inches and 22 times 22. Proceed to mock-ups. Here, um, here we can choose our mock-ups, everything that we want. So JPG is smaller. So, you know, like we want something that will, um, you know, that will go quite quickly. So can we only sort of select one? If we can only select one, but I think we can select more. I will go for this one because this is really nice and clean. Continue. Yeah. And guys, again, here you would sort of like really fill in all the details that you want. Um, if you struggle with the description, then maybe ask ChatGPT to help. Um, but I would definitely keep these, all these, and also add info about on-demand manufacturing. It's quite good to sort of like be honest about how we are creating these products. Don't forget there's so many benefits to um, doing it through companies like Printful, especially it's sustainable because obviously we don't have all that waste if we don't sell our products so i quite like that and here are our categories again these categories you you will set these on the uh on your website and it basically then transfers it into here um so yeah this is our description then we're going to continue and here we set our prices again so i'm going to do five pounds set and uh, submit to store. So now this is where, where, the, where the magic happens. So I'm hoping it will be in our store. So I'm just waiting here for it to finish. And then we just have this confirmation on Printful that basically it had been synced. So two products have been synced. And let's take a look what it looks like on our website. So I'm going to go back to dashboard uh, on my website, on my WooCommerce website, and I'm just going to go to products, all products. And here are my pillows. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's click on edit because we are still going to be editing it. Oh my goodness, price has gone up. Um, so basically, let's just review it very quickly. Preview changes. So again, guys, all the settings that I have on this website, I have set it up myself. There's so many, uh, you know, like there's so many things you can do, but there are some things you can't do with WooCommerce. Uh, it's all about um, really like, you know, learning how to set the shop up. I am thinking about doing like a detailed tutorial, detailed workshops um, we just select a handful of people who are really interested in it um, to learn how to do this step by step. 
Um, so let me know if you're interested in comments. But yeah, basically, guys, here you see everything that we've done on Printful. Everything had been beautifully transformed here. Let's see what other. So basically, we just have these two uh, pillows. And here you choose your size. Yeah, and then basically add to cart. Oh my goodness, these are, these are expensive. And uh, obviously you've got description, you've got additional information. So it's going to weigh 64 grams and uh, description here, guys. So it's absolutely perfect. It's, um, obviously here you would have, um, you know, like a product on your web page. So perfect, guys. Of course, you know, you will give it a different name. You don't have to keep it like this. We, we just did this for an example. And how great is this, right? Perfect premium pillow. And there you have it. We have created wonderful first product. And the tools that we have used again are Mid Journey AI, Canva, Printful. We have a website set on WordPress. Our hosting is SiteGround. Our theme is Avada. And what else? Yeah, so guys, I have actually included all the links in the description below. Uh, please take a look. I would never recommend something that I am not 100% sure that works. And I also included some resources on my web page. So if you go to expressprints.com, you can see here creators resources. So here I share basically everything I mentioned today. So Gelato, Printful, links to everything, SiteGround, Avada. I have also a dedicated Facebook group. Here I had, um, included some photo editing software, um, free and paid. So you can take a look at it. And also image, AI image upscalers, free and paid. And of course, I have a ton of tutorials to watch and get better at creating wonderful products from our wonderful artwork. Not only that, but I also actually opened up my massive gallery of over 20,000 images. So I've got now a member zone and the uh, here's the video and I'm also uh, adding it to this up here. But here is the video of you know what you get in each tire so the the free tire has over 1400 free clip art images perfect if you want to learn and play how to play around with them and see how to sort of like edit them for print on demand products guys one thing very importantly this is only for personal use and i cannot stress this enough uh, the starter pack is for personal use only uh, and then i have other uh, cre other tires which is creative toolbox and creative powerhouse the image that i create that i use today is in this tire which is the creators toolbox over twelve thousand images guys so take a look again i am uh, popping the link underneath this tutorial to my membership and you know see which one is best for you and um obviously you know we'll take it from there so guys thank you so so much for tuning in to see this workshop please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another workshop or tutorial. Thank you.